Over the past two years, I played Terraria on Extra Mode and just wanted to say I did horrible with the editing skill. But nevertheless, I still enjoy my gameplay and my cringe video. But now, I feel bored. I can't think of an idea. I don't know what to do. Ah, oh, that's right. The 100 day video. But not any 100 day video. A harder. No! Funny time. 52? When the fu- An exciting moment. Also, also mining skill. And I'm gonna do 100 day challenge for the worthy, but in master mode. If you couldn't tell, I tried for the worthy in the past, but didn't completed it. As you can see, I've seen a lot of YouTubers do it, and I mean a lot of 100 day for the worthy video. So I know what I'm getting myself into. And now, let's create the character, create the world, and let us begin my 100 day journey. So let's, let's begin the tree chopping. And not even two minutes in the game, a killer tree tried to sneak attack me. And to be honest, I honestly forgot about the tree bomb, which I almost died to. So I went exploring. No. So I went exploring, and the loot is tremendously bad. Went to the ice cave, mine ores, more ores, lava, that's cool, and died to a possible error of my action. My mistake. I never thought that it will break from a few height, but fuck me, I guess. I totally forgot about the nighttime and quickly build like it's Fortnite 2019. You're good, I'm good, we're good. I try to mine down. Son of a bitch! I try to mine down. I try to mine down. I try to mine down and find a minecart. I swear every action will in fact kill me. Why do this happen to me? I expanded the house a little and went down. Silly me, I keep forgetting that I have a tiny brain and actually forgot to cast a rope. Not once, but twice. It's not even day three and I'm already getting tired of it. Find a golden chest and it's a magic mirror. Not bad. Died. Died. Ban of regeneration. What? Died the same spot. Three times. That never get old. Shoe spike. Useless. Useless. Even more useless. And die. Because if we don't die, it won't be funny. And it's crazy to me that a blue jellyfish one shot me. What? Who killed me? Blue jellyfish? That's how you know it's bullshit around this world. This is fucking bullshit. I followed the minecart that lead me to a lava trap. Oh, you son of a bitch! Die to the same spot four times. But it's under. Get some platinum, expanded the house a bit, built a minecart track above so I can quickly travel to other places. Night tide has come and the demon eyes tell me to go back mining where the good loot is. Thank you, demon eye, for helping a brother out. You have no idea how much I mine for these platinum more. Like, just look at it. I crafted my armor and my useless platinum bow. Like, why? You want me to fail? You want me to die? You want me to suffer? Built the minecart track longer and encountered a big and small eater soul. Bro, look at it. Look how ginormous that shit is. And I can't believe both sides are corrupted. Like how in the fuck would a fearsome opponent have appeared without even summoning it? I was prepared. And honestly, I did good in the first half because they spawned even more eyes. Get down, Mr. President. I'll take the bullet for you, Mr. President. Go, go without me, Mr. President. Why am I here? Like who the fuck are you? Time later, I beat the eye of Kuhulu. First try. And it gave me the warding on the shield of Kuhulu. Hey, I'm not complaining. It's already it's already day four. I'm not complaining. Built even longer minecart track, found the dungeon, and suddenly a slime appear. Not any slime. The Sigma slime. I was scared and teleported back because I had no beat with him. I continued with the minecart track, but die. Not once, but twice. Found the jungle and die. Not once, but four times. I found a boomstick which carried me throughout the whole period mode. No spoiler attended, but die again since four isn't enough. Looting. <laughs> it's my favorite thing to do. Like, <laughs> why else I can't progress the game? I made the arena really, really small, but it's temporary. I was gonna make the arena for the Eater of World, but I have other plans. Ah, that's right. Looting! 
because I got no accessory that will help me stay alive longer and make the goddamn arena. Ice Boomerang that will never be touched throughout the series. And another one, please. And why, Terraria? Are you trolling me? <gasps> Wait! Oh my god, don't gaslight me again, bro. I want Ice Boot, Hermit Boot, and if you accepted my request, well, you know I'm gonna win. <gasps> I take back what I said. You can troll me all you want. If you give me the good stuff out of it, I made a time watch so I can tell how many days I passed while in the cave, crying. I whip mining and continue to loot. Useless, useless, useless. Not so useless, back to being useless. How many times do I have to open a goddamn chest and find something useful? <laughs> God, bro. God damn it! I don't want the same fuck. And guess what? I die to fall damage five times. Get your laugh in because I will show you that I can and will be able to beat this baby game. Don't you dare judge. I tried finding Lava Charm, but to my surprise, I got nothing in return. GG go next, as the gamer once said. Tried to flat the place a little bit and tried to make the arena for the eater of work. But could it? Because there's so many sucker who wants to suck me. That's on wrong. Went to the desert cave to get the ancient chisel. That's not right. I met Magic Cooch and the Bass statue. I felt ready. I feel like I can beat the eater of work. Goblin. Goblin. Built a house in the jungle so we can teleport and not use the minecart because we are lazy. Yes, we. I did not stutter, did I? Built the desert house as well because there is no way I'm paying 52 gold for a mini shark. 52? When the fu- Nah, man, you cannot give me a 52 gold, bro. Last time it was 39. Yo, you know what? You're killing me, bro. Found the goblin tinker so we can get that sweet, sweet workshop. Trying to find the onglet of the wind, but guess what? You guessed it. Death. Just been waiting and calling for me. Ah, Blood Moon. Love this game. I never asked for Blood Moon, but guess what? They give it to me anyway. I tried to make a fishing place and fish while listening to a song, which in fact is a fishing song. I made a little chest room to keep things clean. Yeah, I'm a clean guy. I'm not gonna lie. Spent the whole day making it. He's back again. But this time, I... TP back home because I was too scared of the Sigma slime. And yet, he has never returned. So I went back fixing my chest. So I made a, mer a little miss error of the word. I used the magic conk and teleport. Yeah, I can't believe this. I can't believe myself too. I I missaid it. I can't believe this. And found a living tree and everything I looted is nothing but useless. I cannot believe I didn't find the onglet out of so many chests I looted. Oh, the king slime. Meet again. The sigma slime has appeared. And this time, I won't run away because I had enough with him bullying me and taking my lunch money. The next time I see him, I will definitely shoot him to the ground, and not in a fun way. Blood Moon! I already prepped enough to fight the Eater of World, and let me tell you, before, I had fun. I have joy in my face. I was a happy fella. But now, I am mad, furious, and very angry. I feel like I'm turning ball at this point. The bullying will never stop. Here is my death response. Bro, there's so many shit on me, bro. What the fuck? I haven't even killed anyone, bro. What the fuck, man? I tried throwing a grenade. Died. I tried making a new plan. Well, that fucking failed twice. So, I made a new plan. Still got shit on. Literally. Please. Please. But a sliver of hope. <gasps> oh, that's all I need. That's all I need. Six is enough. I just had enough shard to make a pickaxe. I don't know how many times I died, but just to let you know, I was crying inside and angry on the outside. I mined obsidian and went down to hell. And again, I had a tiny brain. 
I forgot. The brick burned me to death, but nevertheless, we're mining Hellstone. Honestly, I keep forgetting to get Obsidian Potion. Why do I keep doing this to myself? Getting into danger. Not in purpose. Make a quick flower farm. Went back to fishing since I need a lot of stuff. Got nothing. Fuck it. I'm fighting the eater of world. Worst fucking idea since I couldn't get up in my arena. I want this to be over already. I cheated my arena once more because I hate getting shit on and not die purposely. I was getting prepared and now I'm ready. Sir, sir, sir. What? Yeah, yeah, boy. Holy! Look at all this damage! Let's go! Yeah! Fucking suck on my dick! I was in shock that I beat the era world. Victory Royale, as the kiss said. I'm in an arena for a Skeletron. Wait out the night and get my character handed to me. Okay, tell me why there's a zombie there. Nah, tell me why there's a zombie there. And again, what did I do wrong? I made a little bait far and then went fishing afterward. We're back at it again. But this time, I was full ready. Sweat, humble, and hungry. To be Skeletron. Yes, I said hungry because at that time, I was indeed hungry. The fight began, and I already know his moveset since I died to him twice. And honestly, it was easy in the first half because for whatever reason, those minions appear whenever I took off his hand. But it wasn't that bad. I could just kill them off and focus on Skeletron afterward. That was a lie. They respawn! What the fuck? To think it will get worse by the time. Speaking by time, time wasn't in my side as well almost turning morning i was scared but close enough i managed to kill it and spin on skeleton what? i explored the dungeon yes i'm a risk taker if someone told me to take a paper cut i won't do it why would i listen to he she them they i am me and i would do it out of curiosity science purpose not because they told me to but because of science look at those angry mob a simple YOLO will make a progression way faster. But as you can see, there's Spike that I truly afraid of and don't want to die from it. Look at that. Slow and steady does win my pride for only a good two minutes just for me to die. But it's progress. Lou was extremely fast because all I wanted it was a cobbler shield and a shadow key. I went to hell and searched for the hell wing because everything is good. You're good. I'm good. Today is good. I just went fishing. Ho ho ho. It's this bitch again. You know how many times I got scared by this guy? Zero. I am overpowered and confident to beat him. Die. Just die. Nobody like you and nobody want to be like you. I just went fishing. I went exploring because I wanted to find the lava charm which was a waste of time because I did not find it. How many times do I have to see these fucking goblins? How many times? How many times do I have to see them? How many times do I have to see Making the bridge across the hell lands, but wasn't simple because hell was truly hell. I died more time in hell than either world that shit on me and eat me. I cannot stress you enough that these hell bat is my truly worst enemy. Die over and over and over and over. Fuck! And I was not having the word fun anymore. But eventually, after a couple of deaths, I made the bridge. I made the bridge. I, 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 ma I made the bridge. And summoned the wall of flesh right after. But that was the worst mistake I ever did. Look, I already told you that I watched so many YouTubers play 100 days for the worthy in master mode. I even searched up for the worthy master mode, wall of flesh. But I did not know that they spawned fucking imp for the wall of flesh. And I cannot destroy those fireball. I felt hopeless. Crying emoji. People sad. You don't want to end up like me. Okay, so here's the plan. Star cannon. To be honest, I never use a star cannon. Ever. But it's the best plan I have ever thought. 
It's not my plan, but it's a plan to kill the wall flesh. But here's the problem. I need star. I search up how to farm star in Terraria. And it's the worst day spent I have ever built. To you, it looked like two minutes of building this farm. But to me, it took me 18 days in Terraria just to complete this. Wanna know what 18 day in real life? Seven hour. Seven hour building this large star farm. But wanna know the best part? I can't even use the star cannon. They deflect the star. Seven hour. Seven hour has been wasted just for this moment. I cannot think. I cannot get my seven hour back. And honestly, I hated it. What was the purpose for making the star cannon if I can't even use it? I was running on an option. All I can do is cry. I expanded the hell place a bit wider, even though I know it's a waste of time. I decided to make an arena for Queen Bee because I don't know what else to do, to be honest. I'm gonna lose it. I'm gonna lose it. I never felt this impossible feeling in a long time. Thinking back, I just wonder, how was it so easy in the beginning? How did I even beat Skeletron? Or even though Eater World? How did I even come this far? Why am I asking so many questions to myself? Sometime, I'm just crazy and stupid. But I'm glad I finished this goddamn arena because these jungle mob can fuck off. It took me a while, but looking at it make me happy. But dead inside, Blood Moon, of course, without it, I would even not go crazy. I fought the Queen Bee and was surprisingly easy. I don't know what's going on, but she just keeps spinning around. I, I think I broke her. I tried the wall of flesh again. I just don't know, man. I checked YouTube, but there's no latest video that can hold me with the wall of flesh. I tried the flare gun strat, but forgot that I can't even use my bow. But they can still shoot. Bullshit, I tell you. I expended the hell place again and tried to fight the wall fletch one more time. God damn it! Okay, so I found the guy who actually beat the wall fletch for the worthy in master mode. And I just found out that you needed an imp banner. The guy that I found is Golkulish. Wait, how do you how do you pronounce this? Go Kalishki actual and I'm glad that he beat the wall fletch because without him I would I would have been stuck here for a hundred day or even now passing the goddamn pre hard mode So thank you for beating the wall fletch. So I made an inform which is just like this You have no idea how long it took to get that number I also found out that there is a shimmer biome which I did not know about until today or I don't know, somewhere like May 20 or something. I, 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 I'm not keeping up date. And what I'm about to do is game changing. Not, not that, this. This is way better than reforging the Goblet Tinker. Fought the Queen Bee to get the Honeycomb, to craft the Stinger Necklace, and to get Warding. Yes, everything I have in my accessory is Warding. I will have the maximum defense. No damage, just defense. I placed the imp banner and the campfire and the heart lantern because nothing will stop me. And I mean, nothing will stop me. You're good, I'm good, life is good. The time has come and I am fully prepared. Yes, I was stuck by the stupid imp. What are the chances they can teleport behind you? You know what? Don't even get me sorry about this stupid imp. Like, why can't I even break the fireball? What? Why? Why do you gotta teleport behind me? Why do you gotta respond? Why did they get hit so hard? It just doesn't make sense. After I finished ranting about the stupid imp, I went back and cleaned out the small tunnel so it won't happen to me again. I will make sure that everything is big and wide. What do you mean by that? Also, I went fishing so I can make a wrath and endurance potion. This time, I was ready. No! No! Ah! I ran out of space and was so close to winning. I could have won. I could have finished it. I could have been happy, but no. Instead, I cried and whined. I tried again and again. No! And again. Why? And again. No! What did I do 
did wrong? What did I do 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 wrong? Bro, I'm losing it, bro. <laughs> losing it. At that time, I was full of rage and desperate. I went crazy and stupid at the same time. I was about to lose it. But if you couldn't tell, I was already losing it. I tried different strategy like using the Bebo, grenade, magic book. All of them didn't work. What can I do? Believe. Memorize. Focus. And lastly, luck. Hello? Hello. Ooh, that's kind of small. Don't care. Don't care. Don't care. Stupid. Oh my god. Oh, hell no. Oh, 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 oh my god. Oh. I'm fast as fuck, boy. Yes. 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 Yes, you can, you can fuck off, you can fuck off, bro. Holy shit, I cannot believe I beat the Wall of Flesh. It only took me, let's see, 47 days in Terraria, which is 18 hour and 48 minutes in real life. I would say this, making the Star Farm and the Star Cannon was a complete waste of time. I would never get my time back from that and would never build that again. Plus the Blood Moon. I cannot be more happier. And my day is ruined. I just pretty much upgrade and expand the house a bit. Make the workplace a bit cooler. Make the trophy place a bit cooler. Make a lava chest so any mob event that come can die there. And the rest of the day was me AFKing my farm. My quote unquote star farm. So yeah, that was my 100 days for the worthy in master mode. I would lie about these 100 days. For example, the star farm that... Will never get my time back. Can be like two days. Or me building the Queen Bee Arena for one days. I am no liar. Everything I did, I did it. As you can see. So, yeah. Uh, that's about it. That's my 100 day video. Seems short, but it's, it is what it is. So, yeah. See you later in the next video. Or is it? I wanted to keep it interesting. Why not? 200 day video. Maybe I am a liar. Who made you click this video thinking it would only be 100 days videos? I'm sorry, but sadly, I am indeed a liar. <laughs> or not. You can just click off this video if you like. No one's stopping you. But why? Why click off when you made it this far? Alright. Let us continue my 200... Sorry. Our 200 days journey. I swear, I am not schizophrenic. Let's start the day off strong by breaking the demon oath. By breaking the demon oath. I swear, I am not going back to this phase again. It's already day 101 for my 200 days. I had enough with this experience. Please, I don't want to go back there again. We got the Coblet, the Ori Kalum, and Amethyst. Making a hole to stop corruption from spreading throughout my spawn. Because I already experienced this, and it wasn't pretty. I went mining to get Coblet or Blood Moon. Fucking Blood Moon. And now Goblin. Did I ever tell you what the definition of insanity? Went back mining to get Aracolum. Aracolcum. Aracolum. I will come home. I will... Bro, I fucking hate pronouncing this shit, bro. What the fuck? And later, to get Admented, I decided to make a unicorn farm to get the unicorn, to get the holy arrow, but also needed to get pixie dust as well. So I went to the hollow biome to get some. I wanted to make the waffle time loot farm. I wanted to get rich, to get the item I need, and to get my happiness again. But making this farm feel suffering. I felt similar expression with making the goddamn hell bridge. It's already coming in a loop. Why in the fuck does everything want to kill me? Blood Moon 
just great. I already losing my mind if you couldn't tell. did it suck it who's crying now i afk till the hollow mimic appear but didn't last long since i was impatient so i decided to summon them just to get the storm bow i want a weapon that cheese the whole game and make the game progression easy for me unlike the star cannon then i afk to corruption place which i did some research and that i really need nothing from it other than the magic staff and the green fire to make the green fire bullet again it was a waste of time my plan is to make the onk shield i already have some of the stuff for it but needed two items which is the megaphone and the fast clock i crafted them what the fuck is this now i need some Bullshit item to get the onk. What the fuck? I need a reflective shade, which come from the blind form and pocket mirror. A pocket mirror that I need in order to progress. How long did I left Terraria for? Why in the chance do I need a pocket mirror? My depression arc is already coming. I decided to AFK near the marble because that's the only thing I know, but... I did some research and there was an easy way to get the pocket mirror, which by the way, shouldn't took this long. I needed to get a blindfold and put it on the shimmer lake, which made my depression arc fade away. I love this biome and hope that it stay as it is. This biome will always cure my suffering and game progression. I expanded the bait farm and summoned the destroyer. Wait, why that shit so big? What the fuck? Is what I said. No pause. What do you mean by that? But later, I got destroyed. Aha, 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 aha. I tried again. Yeah, this isn't working. Not gonna lie, I don't know what is wrong. What I did wrong. But I noticed something. Mob. Fucking mob. Pirate. That's cool. Got the pirate staff minion. He pooped. A lot. Like, look at it. I thought it was a wall for a moment. I expanded the arena a bit. Yes, I call this an arena because those mech eyeball and mob want to make things difficult. I don't feel their kindness to me. Just pain. I finished the arena and was ready to fight the destroyer. Look, I get it. I pussy out in a dual fight. But why would I take my chance doing the hard way? But it said doing the smart way. I went to the ocean to get shark fin. Five shark fin to craft the mega shark yes it took the whole day just to fight those shark crazy i built a asphalt bridge to counter the twins i kill some time and get some blue brick to prepare skeletron prime later because i told you guys so many times that i play for the worthy from the past but never completed it i was only up to the golem part i summoned the destroyer because i wanted to try out the star cannon the super star shooter it looked op in the winky but to my surprise, it doesn't fucking work! Why do you make this gun if it's gonna be deflected? I just don't understand. I wanted to make it work because I wasted my time making the star fart for seven hours. But ended up being disappointed again. I fish in the morning and blood moon appear. These slow progression are kicking in. I mine more blue brick and was getting ready to fight the twins. I secondly wanted to cheese the laser eyes but decided to become a Chad and face him on. Honestly, I would have been pissed if I died there. Now, building the blue brick bridge under the asphalt block because there is no other spot that has a big arena. Got some heal buff, but it turned morning. I decided to make a giant hole for Plantara's second phase. I'm just thinking ahead, or else I'm just wasting time. I don't want to make the same mistake making the star farm again, but that will and only will Give me nightmare. The night has come. And now, I summon Skeletron Prime. I died. Honestly, not bad, but not good either. Okay, what the fuck? What am I missing? I did everything I could that can beat Skeletron Prime. What the hell am I missing? Nothing. I just need a little fix for the arena that we built a platform up top. Even though Skeletron Prime can break, it's still usable. All right, let's give it a go. I teleport back by accident. How did I manage to teleport back? Well, I butterfinger myself and scroll all the way to the end where the magic mirror is. I wanted to scroll where the magic star is, 
but my finger had other plans. Yeah, suffer. I can't believe me want to suffer even more than it already is. I removed the stone where the star farm is so I can use the holy arrow and not blocked him. Very cool. But speaking about Holy Arrow, I needed more. So I made an AFK place to farm Holy Arrow. And surprisingly enough, it was fucking easy. Literally, all I need is just to adjust the arena a bit and it worked out. How fucking crazy. I went life fruit hunting for a good hour, adjusting the hole I made for Plantera second phase, and later make a small box to go around Plantera and fly up. Solar clip happened and I just ate cave where my mob event death chamber is and later fruit life hunting once more. I am ready. And surprisingly, it was kind of easy. I can't believe I defeated Plantera first try. You heard it, first try. But now here's the problem. This is how far I made it. And now I know the golem is going to be difficult. I went to the temple. Pain is all I see. I am now growing my depression arc once more. And after I reached the golem place, I decided to honey the place. And it took a while. I hated it. I was like, man, I wish I could just use the honey bomb to cover the place quicker. But enough with the dream because I finished it and fought him. And it ended horribly. I fought him again. Die. And now I expanded the place again but I need more honey. I just found the wet bomb and it was sitting on my chest this whole time. I was gonna cheat my way into you guys believing me that I was fishing in the lava legit and obtained nine hellstone crate. But that was a waste of plan because I already had a wet bomb. The proof is there and now I suffer so much from it. So call me a cheater. I didn't even open or use the crate. Now that I have the honey bomb, it's life changing. Only to me to get punched on. I upgraded my armor to the turtle armor so those punches does a KO me. Changed my emblem to the sword emblem. I paint the wall bright because whatever the reason I summoned the golem, it turned super dark and I felt like I couldn't even see it. I couldn't even see him. I knew it. The darkness has come to take my soul. What am I doing wrong now? I summon him again and just die as fast, if not, quicker. New adjustment to the arena, but that didn't work out. I have no clue how to beat the golem, and I'm already losing it. But now I do. I know how to beat him. I watched some of the golem fight, and honestly, I see no difference. I need a vampire knife, and it's just an auto win. But, and there will always be a but, I don't have a crimson world. So, I went to the other world that had the crimson world, and get some of those red powder to make crimson block. I AFK for that crimson key, which took a couple of minutes. And now I just needed to find the crimson chest. And we got the vampire knife. Honestly, I took my time doing some research about the crimson key. Is there a crimson chest in the corruption world? The answer is no. And it's always be a no. Which was a waste of time looking around in my further worthy and master mode corruption dungeon place. This was a massive L. But I did finish it. And I am not complaining. Okay, I am ready. I let the fight happen in silence. Yes! Yes! Holy shit, if I didn't record that, bro, I swear to fucking god, my mind's gonna be fu I'm not gonna lie, I did make some error, but nevertheless, we beat the golem! And just to prove you that I could beat him, I fought him again. I cleaned out the place a bit since I got the pixel and fought him again. Not dramatic, but an easy fight. Why was I struggling in the beginning? Well, who knows? It's almost time for the Moon Lord. But for now, I need to make the arena for the Moon Lord and clear out my stupid 
minecart track, made even longer of an asphalt pathway, and continued to make an arena. Nothing special this day. Later, I finished making the wall for the trophy room and grinded for the Rod of Discord. And you might be saying, this is a waste of time and you should do that after Moon Lord. But I was lucky enough to get one without wasting another day. Later, I decided to fight the cultist, but died to him because he is just hard. I cannot beat him. What the fuck? I fight him again? Y you know what? Let me show you the montage. What? Not like this. Not like this. Finally. Finally. And let me show you my other montage. Just letting you know, this part really make me angry because of so many deaf I die to. Bro, how am I done? Finally. We... We made it this far. All the suffering. All the excitement. All the funny moment. That you laugh just by watching me. Dying repeatedly. If you did laugh at this video. I... Cannot thank you enough. I mean it. We are coming to an end. And I am sorry for lying about the 100 days. Even though it should just be 100 days. So sorry for clickbaiting you. And lastly, thank you for joining the whole video. If you did not watch the whole thing and skip to the end. What the fuck? Why do you even click this video? And why do you skip the whole thing? I suffered so much and you decided to skip to the moon lord? Piece of shit you are. Anyways, let us begin the Moon Lord fight. Okay, it would be cool if I did it in the first try. But now I have to fight him again until I beat him! Great. Fucking great. I went to the Shimmer Biome because there is a permanent buff that can be used. But first, I tried the Rod of Discord because you can use infinitely Rod of Discord. But it didn't work since I had to defeat the Moon Lord. Anyways, I dropped the Life Fruit, Heart Crystal, and Fruit. For the permanent buff, the fruit gave me the increase of mining and building speed, heart crystal for life regeneration, and life fruit for defense. And honestly, I just search up what can I do in the shimmer biome. And I seen a lot of lists. Back to fighting the cult list, fighting the lunar event again, and now the moon lord. New plan, do fish wrong. What I need is his mount, so I can fly around while his heart is open. I made the arena for the do fish Ron and blood moon. Cause... Why not? Change of plan! I decided to use the ship mount instead of do fish run mount. Since I just needed a flying mount. Worst idea because it's so god damn slow. And yes, I almost killed it. Can you believe that? But I still feel slow from using that mount. So I just went truffle hunting since I needed to defeat do fish run. And so has begun.
Okay. Now, let's get this boss fight going. And just like that, against all odd, despite me struggling throughout day by day, I managed to beat Terraria for the worthy in master mode. And honestly, I never felt anything so rewarding after beating the Moon Lord. I looked back, looking at my progression, and thinking that I wouldn't even made this far. But here we are. I am finally worthy. Once again, thank you for being around here. And enjoying the video. And that's it. Take care. Psych, we still have some day left. The fuck are you slacking for? You need to complete the 200 days. Past me. What, you're just gonna leave me hanging? And not do it 200 days? That's fucked. I cannot believe myself, past me, couldn't do 200 days. Some YouTuber I am. Alright, alright, my fault. Better be. Fucking idiot. I don't know what to do. I did everything I could think of. I'm just mindlessly roaming around the world. Yeah, I just fish. Now I know what to do. The Zenith Blade. I'm going to grab for the Zenith and the cell phone. So I AFK the top of the ocean to get the Marthen Madness up here. So I can obtain the Influx Waiver. But I got nothing. I made a safer bait farm because those jungle mobs just keep annoying me whenever I need bait. I went fishing, got bored of it, and went to defeat Plantero so I can get the Seedler, but got nothing and do fish run just because. I just waited for the Martian probe to appear because I still need the influx waiver. And again, got nothing. I fight Plantera again and I got the Seedler. That's awesome. And AFK for the Prismatic Lace Wing. Fighting the Moon Lord so I can tame the Meowmer, but didn't get it. That's awesome. Went to the dungeon because I want to get the Ninja Gear for the next fight. Empress of Light, Goblin, to waste my time. And I changed my arena a bit. Before I fight the Empress of Light, I watch some tip and trick to see if I can understand the boss a bit. But you know how this is going to go. No! I kinda die, I choked there, I choked! I choked! Fuck! <laughs> Bro, why am I- Sucking so much, bro. Oh my goodness gracious. Let's go! Let's go! Let's go! Ah! Ah! I don't care about I have pre, pre, pre moon lord. I don't give a sh I now defeated the Frost Queen and the Bum King. Pied Invasion to waste my time. Add an extra room in the desert home. Built a small house in the snow place and built a small house in the ocean. I finally got that stupid sword and later I fight the cultists in the lunar event. AKA those pillars. Time to fight the moon lord again because I just want the meowmer. <laughs> well will you look at that. I then create a random world just to get an enchantment sword. It's not cheating. It's just there. Now I needed the Morama saw so I could craft the night edge. Now I need to get the chlorophyte to craft those true Excalibur which took some time to get. Fish the Skyland to get the Star Fury which only took two try. And summer the solar eclipse so I can get the broken sword which was a really easy task. Now after all that I finally got the Zenith. Yes 
I did this on For the Worthy and Master Mode. Just wanted to clarify. And throughout the whole day, I just went fishing so I can finally get the cell phone. Got my 200 fishing quest achievement. And yeah, that's all I did. Honestly, there weren't much to do after beating the Moon Lord. Yes, I can rebuild my house, but I felt lazy. And I'm terrible making houses. And yeah, that's about it. Hopefully I expire you guys to play or even record 100 Days for the Worthy. No hate for the sea since I put myself into the hardest difficulty. And I want to thank to the streamer for beating the wall of flesh. And some YouTuber who did some tip and tricks for the other bosses like Golem or, or Doofixron. And lastly, thank you. Yes, you. The viewer. For watching the whole thing. And leaving a like. If you did, of course. And I'm not saying that I'm back, but I will try my best to make more video. And yeah, that's about it. Fuck the star farm and fuck the star cannon.